Okay, I have a steel dowel pin in the drill chuck. Um, this is an 80s vintage single bearing Mark V quill and we're going to check the run out on it with the single bearing quill. This is uh, caused by the slack in that uh, plastic coupler at the back end of the spindle. We got ten thousandths slack there. I can feel that thing moving back and forth. So I'm going to modify this quill to two bearing quill and then we'll recheck the run out to see how it does. Okay guys we've got the quill machined to accept the rear bearing. It's going to be a, a slip fit on the first part. We got the spindle bearing, rear bearing mounted. This bearing, it's a special bearing, it's a, a slip fit on the spindle and then I center punch the ring, uh, center punches around just to stabilize it so it won't slip and it works really nice that way. You got a slip fit when it first goes in. The last three-eighths of an inch or so is a light press fit so we'll tap that in. Now we'll mount the new front bearing. Tap it in place. Put our little spicer in there that was in there from the factory. We install the snap ring and it's ready to go. There is absolutely no slop in that rear shaft now. Okay, now we're going to go put it back in the machine and check our run out again. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention one other thing. This, uh, when you bore the back of the quill for this rear bearing, the bore pushes into the bottom of the teeth in the back end of the quill just barely it's still metal there but you can tell how close the bore is inside there uh, it doesn't hurt anything all 125,000 10 ERs are exactly like this machine for that rear bearing so and they work fine still plenty of metal left there uh, to hold those, those teeth so just wanted to mention that Okay, I've got our two bearing quilt upgrade installed in the machine. Same drill chuck and dowel pin mounted. And we're going to do our run out test again. If I can get it focused in here. Okay. And I'm going to push on it about the same as I was before. I got right at two thousandths less than two thousandths and I don't feel any any slack it's just that's just uh, flex more or less of that uh, from the bearing out to this point but we took about eight thousandths run out out by installing that rear bearing it's gonna work great